Hi guys, how are you? Today we're talking about some of my winter picks and this is kind of random. I don't have them necessarily in color categories. So we're just gonna go through. I'll try to organize it, but yeah, no. My first like category is blue, icy blue colors because you can't have January without icy blue. So I have three different ones to show you. This first is a Zoya polish and it is called Hazel. This is a very silvered out blue and it's super sparkly. It's like foil. It like is a whole bunch of little silver flaky particles and when you put it on it just sparkles like crazy. My next one is just like sparkly foily goodness on your nails. This one is not unique but it's just the one I pulled. It's from Bonita and it's called Greetings Earthlings. This came out a year, few, a few years ago. It is very similar to the Zoya except for it doesn't have the fl flaky look, like it's still sparkly, but this just looks like it has different flakes in it. I don't know how to explain it. And my last pick, this one is the most sparkly polish I own. <laughs> it is so stunning. This is Come On Over Valkyrie from Moonshine Manny. It came out in her Thor Ragnarok collection. Holographic silver, blue shimmer, bigger holographic glitters in silver and blue. And it's just, this polish is crazy, crazy sparkly. And so perfect for winter. All right, I have a few for like the muted, grayed out kind of color category. This first one is a really grayish purple and oh geez Louisa, it is, it's gorgeous. This is Zoya Caitlin and it's a Zoya cream. I don't really need to say anything about Zoya creams because everyone knows they're perfect and this one is perfect. This color is not really my style usually, but it just, you put it on and you're like, wow, like you can't not love it, in my opinion. This next one is a really light, slightly more blue toned gray. This is by Essence and it is called Blue Symphony. Very, very light blue toned gray and it's just really pretty. It makes your hands look clean. My next pick for like the grayed out colors, this Essie, I got this at a Marshalls or TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx according to this sticker a long time ago, but this is Warm and Toasty Turtlenecks. It's a very pretty purple gray. It is a lot more like pink than Caitlyn is. It's on the pink side of purple, whereas Caitlyn is kind of on the gray, taupey side of purple. But they are both gorgeous, and I can't stop staring at my nails when I put this on. These are all creams. Like, I'm a sparkle and glitter kind of girl, but these creams, they just do it for me. These creams are pretty. Another for my neutrally grayed out muted colors. This is Starfish from Simple Colors and it's just kind of like a nude pink. And also not bright and obnoxious like I usually go for, but when I put it on it's just like, ah, uh, like it just feels good and clean. It feels like refreshing relaxing I don't know am I making any sense but this is a beautiful cream and a few more vampy selections you can't have winter without having like a berry color in my opinion this is sinful colors and it's from their stoned crystal shimmers collection it was such a fantastic collection I really really liked all of those they're so unique so this one is a dark 
like blackberry wine color and it's called Namaste the Night. It has silver flakes and when you put it on it just makes it, it I don't know the finish is just so cool with those silver flakes this one is gorgeous and vampy but you can always tell that it's this burgundy purple color it's so pretty and the next one is one that I always forget about but when I remember <laughs> I'm like, oh, I want to wear that. This is kind of like an oil slick nail polish before oil slick nail polishes were the thing. It's super, super old. Sally Hansen Diamond Strength, and it's called Black Tie. So it's like a dark gray base, and it flashes purple and green. It's super interesting, and like I said, this was way before its time, I feel like, because not everybody was doing these kinds of colors, but it's really pretty. And the last one, this is another like sparkly foil color. This is insane on my nails. I love it. I don't remember where I got this polish, but the brand is Nana Coco. I got it on a website somewhere and it's called Mermaid Lake. It is so, so, oh, so pretty. There's a similar-ish color from Zoya and Sinful Colors also has one that's kind of similar. It's not this like foily sparkly, but it's the same color vein, so I will link those both down below as well, but this one is gorgeous. And two different topper options I love. This is an essence polish and it's called Effects Galaxy Flakies. I'm not sure, I found it on clearance at Sally's. But it's like a whole bunch of iridescent flakies and it kind of makes the polish look a little bit gray, but it's not. It will transform anything you put it over and it'll make it that like grayed out muted color like is so good for the winter time but it adds that like iridescent flaky yumminess to it i don't know i really like this topper i do not use it enough i should use it more often this last one is like love hate relationship not everybody likes this polish but I love this polish. This is Zoya Monet. It is a bunch of iridescent glitters, all the same size, in kind of a pink tinted base. You could wear this over anything. It won't necessarily tint your nail polish. The base isn't really tinted enough to make it tint your other color. But it's really, really pretty. I love iridescent toppers for the winter because it just makes it feel like icy, cold, I don't know. And this one, when I put it on top of any color, because it works on any color, I also love to mattify because these kinds of iridescent glitters plus matte top coat and the flakies plus matte top coat, that is where it's at. Alright guys, those are some of my picks for winter. I hope that you enjoyed this video and thanks for hanging out with me for a little while. Let me know what you're wearing for winter and what you are in the mood for in the comments down below. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit and I will see you guys really soon. Thanks guys. Bye. Very, very, very gray, but it's super neutral, really pretty, easy, pretty, pretty. Can I have more of a vocabulary than pretty? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs>